It's been a while since we talked about SPACs and since I made SPAC valuation videos, but I believe I've now found a pretty interesting SPAC with a pretty good valuation and a very interesting founder who holds a lot of shares in the company. So today we're actually going to talk about AdStack, which is going to be hopefully merging with EUSG, a SPAC that is looking for a European company to merge with. In this video, we're going to provide you with a short introduction to the company, and then we're going to talk about the valuation of the company. So let's do it. AdStack Energy Energy is a German company, a European company that is a leading ultra-fast battery charging company. And it is a pretty interesting company and is going to be using the cash from the SPAC transaction, from the SPAC merger, to accelerate the expansion of the company, of course, not only in the United States or not only in Europe, actually, but also in the United States. So they are currently focused on storage solutions, on charging and energy management platforms, and they are already doing pretty well. They already have a proven track record with a pretty solid amount of revenue. So what they are doing is they are focusing themselves on the ultra fast charging space on existing power limited grids without additional infrastructure power upgrades. That is already quite a little bit different from many of the other companies that are basically focusing on the uh, AC charging instead of the DC charging. So this company is focusing on very fast charging. Now we can see that there is a very interesting situation because the company Aztec Energy is currently owned uh, for 61% by a holding company, Aztec Holding. And this company, Aztec Holding, is 100% owned by the family of the CEO and his family's charitable foundation. And we can also read that the CEO of the company has a majority of the shares of the votes actually in ADSH, which, which is the holding company of Aztec. So it's very interesting to see that the CEO, which is also the founder, which I also always like because uh, founder-led companies are usually pretty interesting, uh, because it's, it's very cool to see that the founder and his family, uh, they are so invested in this company. So they really want to make sure that the company is going to do well also in the future. So again, uh, this company, Aztec Energy, is owned for 61% by the holding company, and the 39% that is remaining is currently owned by Bosch uh, Thermotechnique, which you might know, it's a massive company, which has like a lot of applications in like consumer products and, uh, and also technology products. So this is a very massive company that is currently owning 39% of Aztec. We can see in this paragraph over here that the merger between Aztec Energy and EUSG, the SPAC, is expected to be completed in the fourth quarter of 2021. Let's then also take a look at the pro forma valuation of this company. First of all, we can see that this company started out trading at $10 per share, as is very usual with all these SPACs we have been seeing in the past, of course. And they are going to have 58 million shares outstanding after the merger is going to be completed. So that is going to provide them with a pro forma market cap of 580 million. Because if you, well, take the $10 per share multiplied by the amount of outstanding shares after the merger, you're going to arrive at this market cap of 580 million million dollars, which is also in the investor presentation. And we can also see that they're going to have a quite significant amount of cash that is going to be uh, put on their balance sheet, which is $224 million. So that is the amount of net cash they are going to have. And if you take the market cap and if you subtract the amount of net cash, then you're going to arrive at an enterprise value of $356 million. And that is actually quite an interesting amount of money because as we're going to see later on, the valuation of this company becomes pretty cheap if you take into account this enterprise valuation. The current price per share is a little bit lower than the $10 per share amount. So right now it's sitting around $9.83. So currently the pro forma market cap is $570 million and the current pro forma enterprise value is $346 million. And here on the left hand side you can also see the pro forma ownership of the entire company after the merger has, been, has taken place of course. We can see that Aztec Holding, which is the holding company of the CEO and his family, you know, they are going to own about 28% of the entire company. Bosch is going to own 14% of the company. Uh, we, as oh, well, not we, I am personally not invested as uh, in, in EUSG, but if you're a shareholder of EUSG, in total, the shareholders of that SPAC are going to be owning 25% of the company. Pipe Investors will have 27% of the company, and the uh, SPAC founder shareholders, they are going to own 6% of the company. 
But we of course want to know what a fair price per share is going to be for this company. And for that we're going to do it in two ways. First of all we're going to take a look at the revenue for 2023 and then we're going to take a look at the price to sales ratios or actually the enterprise value to sales ratios of this company. And we're also going to compare that uh, EV to sales ratio, that enterprise value to sales ratio with other similar companies out there. First of all for the revenue of 2023 we can see that the revenue is going to be 233 million dollars which is actually quite a significant amount especially if you take into account that the previous amount of revenue is way lower in 2019 they had 21 million dollars in revenue in 2020 54 million dollars in revenue which was mainly boosted because there was a large order then in 2021 the revenue decreased to 44 million so they expect to have 44 million dollars in revenue in this year Next year is almost uh, is almost twice as big, 85 million. And then in 2023, they are going to have some new products. So they're going to be launching a residential product and also a commercial and industrial product. And they therefore expect to boost the revenue even higher to $233 million for the year 2023. So that is the number we're going to be working with for the first calculation. For the second calculation, we're going to take a look at the numbers of 2021. So then we're going to take a look at the revenue of $44 million. But right, right now, let's take a look at the revenue of 2023. And we're going to compare this revenue with the revenue and with the EV to sales ratios of other companies out there. Now, as you can see, we can see over here the EV to sales ratios of some similar companies out there. First of all, we can see companies like ChargePoint, EVbox, Volta, EVgo, Wallbox and Tritium Charging. And right here we can see the EV to sales ratios of all of these companies and also of Aztec itself. So with regards to the enterprise value to sales ratio for 2023 for Aztec, it is only 1.5x because the post money enterprise valuation, as we have seen, is about $356 million based on a price per share of $10 per share. And for ChargePoint, it's way higher, 12.7x. For EVbox, it's a little bit higher, 2.9x. Volta is 5.0x. EVgo is 15.6x. Wallbox is 3.2x. And Tritium Charging is 3.9x. So if you take a look at the uh, median and if you take a look at the average uh, results for these companies, and we're not going to take a look at the EV to sales ratio of uh, ratios of these sectors over here, but if you take a look at the peer median, so that is basically the median number of these numbers over here, then you arrive at a median EV to sales ratio of 4.8x. Well, the thing is, if you put in 4.8x for AdSec, and if you take into account that the uh, EV, or sorry, the sales, the revenue for 2023 is $233 million, and you take into account a low multiple, or sorry, actually a multiple of 4.8x, then you are going to arrive at these numbers over here. So then the enterprise valuation for AdSec becomes $1.1 billion, and if you take into account that they have $224 million in net cash, the total pro forma market cap would be 1.3 billion dollars more or less and with 58 million shares outstanding the fair price per share based on that uh, ev to sales ratio that median ev to sales ratio is 23 dollars per share more or less and if you take into account the average uh, result of the average uh, EV to sales ratio of all of these companies. It's even a little bit higher, 6.4x. So if you use 6.4x instead of 4.8x, 6.4x, 6.4x, then you're going to arrive at an even higher fair price per share of almost $30 per share. And just a little side note here, because we don't need to discount these prices back to 2021, because the thing is, we have been taking a look at the EV to sales ratios of 2023 for all of the companies involved. Now, if there would have been a discrepancy, if we would have taken a look at the EV to sales ratios for these companies for 2021, and we would have applied that to the revenue of AdSec in 2023, then we would have needed to discount. But right now, that is not the case. So no discounting is needed. But also, if you take a look at the expected revenue for 2021 of all of the EV charging companies and EV charging specs, we can see that EUSG still is one of the best companies out there with regards to the valuation of the company. We can see that the current market cap is about $570 million, as we have seen before, with the revenue of 2021 expected to be $44 million. Then the price to sales ratio becomes 13x, and that is definitely one of the cheaper price to sales ratios out there. The only one cheaper being TPGY which currently has a price to sales ratio of 9.9x but that is also mainly 
mainly because of the merger risk because we don't really know if TPGY is actually going to merge with EV Bucks, which is of course the uh, charging company in the uh, in in Europe. And just a little side note, by the way, about TPGY because today I actually added to my position. I just couldn't resist the shares and being traded at like ten dollars and seventeen cents. The risk reward ratio seems to be very attractive to me personally. Now this is not a financial advice, of course, but I did add fifty four percent to my position because the price is so low right now. If the merger does not happen, then I lose like ten percent of my money, maybe. But if the merger is going to happen, I'm likely going to make like more than the one hundred percent on my money. So yes, if you look at the valuations. If you look at the price to sales ratios, and then you can see that Aztec currently has a pretty solid valuation versus the other SPACs out there and versus the other charging companies out there. Of course, ChargePoint, EVgo, and Blink already being publicly traded companies, which definitely have a higher price to sales ratios. Uh, definitely, if you look at EVgo and Blink, they have price to sales ratios, which are above 100, actually, which is quite insane. But also, ChargePoint is even at a relatively high price to sales ratio of 33.7x. So compared to those ratios, E USG seems a pretty good bet right now. Now, of course, I'm very much looking forward to hearing from you as well. What do you think about this merger between EUSG and Aztec? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen this video yet about TPGY, hopefully still merging with EVBox, definitely do so. But if you have already done so, check out my mission and my roadmap right over here. And with that being said, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.